Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you guys what I created to send off to Kristen. We were doing a swap together and what we wanted to create and what we agreed upon is a vending machine. So I created a vending machine, but then we all know there's always extras. So I'm going to show you guys what I created for Kristen. And she is Scooter Bug Corner on Instagram and here on YouTube as well. So I will have her information linked down below so you guys could check her out. But now let's get into the video. So I created this vending machine for Kristen. Isn't it so cute? Look at it, guys. So I am using the carousel collection for this spot. And I love how this turned out. I didn't decorate this too much because I thought there was like so much going on here already. But I just have like a cute little cluster with some frames, some gold leaves, um, thread, um, a bow, these uh, star sequins that came in the collection, some flowers and things. And let me show you guys what I put inside. And you guys can see here I put little feet on it so it stands up. And then every time I make a vending machine I always put like a like I paper punch a circle so that it's easier to pull out and you could just put your finger in there and you could easily pull it out. So I do that every time that I make a vending machine. I think I've made three already. They're a great way to send somebody some embellishments. So I've been really enjoying making them. Um, and I will also have a, a link down below to the vending machine because Buzzin with V um, created the file so I will have her video down below where she shares the file and then I will have my video linked down below where I show you guys how to put it together um, so in here I have some wax seals I've been so into wax seals and I've been loving melting them so I have literally like a whole bunch in here for her and like different colors and things like that so I have a whole bunch of wax seals for her then here, you guys know I love my um, puffy gold hearts, so I have a whole bunch here for her. Here I have a whole bunch of tassels. I love these tassels, and they're my favorite size, so I am gifting some to Kristen. So I have like three different colors in here. There's like a peachy color, a darker pink, and a light pink. Then over here, she mentioned she hasn't been able to find the Dollar Tree yarn. So I have the peach colored Dollar Tree yarn in here and I just have it on a straw. Then in here I have a sequin mix for her. This one I created and in case you guys want one too, this one is called Believe in Magic in my Etsy shop. So I have this available. Isn't it so pretty? I love the sequin mix. So that's available in my Etsy shop. And then here I have this little charm that I created for her using carousel. And it's a cute little um, binder charm. And I have this cute little ice cream. These are stickers from Hobby Lobby. And then I have this sticker that says awesome. And then I just have it on Velcro. But I, the, I mean the idea is not to open it. It's just to keep it closed. And then I have this cute little charm here. So I have this wire wrapped a bead here and then I have this charm that I created and I also sell these charms in my Etsy shop and then I have this wire wrapped bead so that just lives in here. I think it was such a cute way to fill up that spot. Then here I have a whole bunch of rosettes that I created. So just some plain pink ones. We have these ones that I did use one of the papers for because I didn't know how to use that paper. And then I also have some vellum ones and on the middle of these I added these little jemmies and I think they look so cute. So that's, you know, something you could also gift to your pen pals or in some happy mail. Just some ideas for you guys. And then here I have these puffy hearts and stars so they just look like this and they're cute little shakers and these are fun to use on projects as well so I'm gifting her some of these and that's it for my vending machine so far so I'm just gonna put this back in here 
Okay, so that is the vending machine. I have no idea how I'm fitting this all in the box yet, but it's going to happen somehow. So because Kristen mentioned she wasn't able to find the Dollar Tree yarn, you guys saw that I have the peach one in here. That's because it didn't fit on here. I originally attempted to do this in five colors, and underneath here I have a straw. Um, so I tried to do this in five colors, and I like marked the straw of like where each color should go up to, and then they kind of just like took over. So I was only able to fit four colors on here, but I have a video like explaining what I did here and and like other ways that you could pack up the Dollar Tree yarn. So I will have that video linked down below as well, but I created this little thing for her so that, you know, she could have her Dollar Tree yarn and I just repurposed um, some packaging from beads that I purchased. Then I created this cute little thing for her. Now I've never used this dye before and I've been wanting to use it and I was like, you know what? This is a great way to use up this paper that I had no idea how to use. And this actually worked out because it's like these two um, connect and I really like how that turned out. And then here I used a bow that was gifted to me by Solo Crafts. Her name is Denise and I'll have a link down below for her channel as well. And I added this cute little pearl. I added a pearl thing all around here and decorated this and I have my logo back here. It's super cute, super duper cute. And then I have this cute little coffee cup. Now this is a four ounce like espresso cup. And I just have this charm, this I won from Ada from the Paper Treasury. And then I have this wire wrapped bead. And then this one, both that I wire wrapped. And then I have this flower that was gifted to me by Shabby Chic Chick Michelle um, on Instagram and on YouTube. So I'll have her link down below as well. And then we decorated the cup. Got a little ruined here, but you don't see it when it's inside. And then when you open this up, I like I kind of individually wrapped um, these Kit Kats. Because just in case they melt, I don't want them to get on everything. And I still want my crafty projects to be safe. And considering it is very hot lately, um, I didn't want anything to melt and then ruin all my other projects that I created. So that is a cute little coffee cup and stand. And I think that's so stinking cute. So I created that for Kristen as well. Then I have this super cute gumball machine. I'm just like... With the carousel, I'm thinking like gumball machines, I'm thinking hot air balloons, um, I'm thinking popcorn carts, so like everything is just like going together with this. So I'm gifting her this super cute um, gumball machine that I made, and it's a sequin shaker, and then it has this cute little thing, and then a little bow on the back, and this was gifted to me from Kayla Crafts 830. Isn't it so cute? So I have this super cute um, gumball machine. It doesn't do anything, it's just cute. So it's just gonna be there for decoration on her shelf or wherever she chooses to put it. Then I made some flowers for her that I put into this cute little container. And I made these cute little daisy flowers. Aren't they so cute? So I have a bunch in here, but then I also have some crinkle paper because this container was just really big but it's also the only like thing that fit in the little piece of like open space I had left in my box so I needed something fairly small so I have these flowers that I made for her and then I'm um, sending off to her aren't they so pretty I love all the shininess and everything and I just used um a daisy punch for this two sizes of daisy punches and I will have a video going up showing you guys how I created these. They're super easy to make, so all of you guys should go get the punch and you guys should all be making these because they're so easy and it's such a great way to use up um, scrap paper. So that's what I did and I love it. I love how it turned out. So they just live in here and I think it's a cute little container for them and you could like see through here like what they are. So I thought that was really cute and I just reused a container from Tuesday morning that used to hold sequins in here but I used up all those sequins. Then from Craft Purge I got the idea to use one of these frames um, kind of like on the outside of a bag and to gift a sequin mix. 
Um, so I did that. Um, I know she glued hers to the packaging, but I used a paper clip because I want um, Kristen to be able to reuse it if she chooses to do so. And this is just an another sequin mix in here. It's got, you know, like little hearts and stuff on different colors, shades of pink. See the little hearts right there? So yeah, it's just like a cute little mix. And then I have this paper clip, which I cannot remember where this is from. Uh, and now that I'm actually thinking about it, Kristen may have had this on an embellishment that she sent my way, but I can't remember. And I just thought it went cute with this collection. Like it's got the blues with this frame and the pink. Um, so I included it on here, but I can't remember if Kristen made it. Like now that I'm actually like thinking about it, maybe she did. But to be honest, like I really don't know. So I'm sorry, Kristen, if you did. I just can't remember. I've been trying to use up some stuff that people have um, gifted me. Then I created these super cute kite embellishments for Kristen. Aren't they so cute? Look how cute that is. And I just found like a free SVG file online and I used my silhouette cutting machine. And then I, you know, used two different patterns of paper for each one of these. I layered the bows, added some jemmies, added here, I added enamel dots. And then here on two of them, I added um, these word phrase stickers. And I think they're so cute. And then I have um, some carousel paper in the background. I added some sequins in here and I reused the packaging so it was originally some ephemera packaging from the carousel collection but i reused the packaging i love the scallop down here and i think it looks so cute so i have that for kristen as well and i see some sequins falling out i think i've fallen out from here i think they're like getting into here and they're falling out but i'll just put them into the package then um, so that's some kites that I made for her. So then for Kristen, I also have these, um, the ephemera, the carousel ephemera. I had an extra pack, so I decided I'm going to gift this to her. And obviously I'm going to wrap this in some wrapping paper and make it look all pretty. But I decided to gift her some ephemera. I have like three more packs of this. I don't know why I have so much. Um, but I was going through my carousel collection and I'm like, I got so much ephemera and it's so hard to use because some of them are bigger. So I could like use some of them and then some other ones. I'm just like, I don't know how to use them, but I'm sure Kristen would appreciate the ephemera. So I'm gifting that to her. And then I also made some wire wrapped beads for her and I put them into this cute little, like, what is this called? Like mesh, not mesh. I don't know. I don't know what this is called, but it's cute, like, or, or is it organza? I don't know, but it's this cute little baggie um, that I had, and I have some wire wrapped beads for her that she could use in some crafty projects and things, so I have that for her as well. Then I also created this super cute box for Kristen, and it's like one of those book boxes, and I love it. I've made a bunch of these, but I just love putting flowers in here, so do you know what's in here? Yes, guys, it's flowers, but I made this into a cute little shaker. Here I used sequins. Um, I think these are from Tova. Can't remember, but I think they are. Um, so I have that here. Oh, and then the sequin mix in here is from Cheryl. And she is Cheryl G on YouTube and Cheryl Gerard on Instagram. Um, so I'll have her link down below as well. And she's actually the one that inspired me to make these cute little daisy flowers. But anyway, so here I have the book box. I layered a rosette, which I cannot remember who gifted this rosette to me. Um, and then I think the, this bow, I think this is from Paper Bow Lover. I want to say, I can't remember. Oh my God. I have so many things guys from so many people that I need to use, but I just can't remember where they're all from. Um, but I have this book box and I used some seam binding for the closure and I decorated a little bit on the inside here. You guys could see here, just a little bit of decoration. And then here I have some rolled flowers for her. I have this flower tool that just so happened to fit in the box and I didn't even know if it would fit or not. And then I have a whole bunch of flowers that Kristen can actually roll herself using this tool. So I thought that was like a fun little thing to gift her and to make for her. It's kind of like a DIY flower kit with a whole bunch of examples. And then 
you know, she has the tool. And I actually sell um, the whole flower kit in my Etsy shop in case you guys are interested in like a kit where you get a whole bunch of flowers and the tool. Um, and then you guys could roll your own flowers. So if that's of interest to you, I will have a link to that down below as well. But I just thought in the swap, I just thought Kristen would appreciate it. And hopefully she does. Um, so I decided to make that for her as well. Then, because I've been on this kick of making tassels, I thought I would make this tassel for her. Again, I have this in my shop, but I really just think that she would like this. And I think they're so pretty. I love these tassels so much. It's like seam binding and some beads. So I have this one that I'm gifting to her. Um, and just like putting in the swap because I think that, you know, she would like it and would like to add it to some kind of project or something. Then I also have this cute pillow box that I made. I am loving this die that I have. This is only my second time using it. I really need to use it more often, but I have this paper um, that I use that I got from Amazon and here I punched holes as well so it's easier to open up. And then inside of here I have these super cute embellishments guys and it was my first time playing with this die as well. And it's a gumball machine die. Isn't it so stinging cute? Look. And these are both sequin mixes from Cheryl. So I have those inside of here. I think they're so cute. I used some bows. I think these are both from Paper Bow Lover. But if I'm wrong, I am so sorry. And then I have some flowers here. This one was gifted to, this green one was gifted to me in like a... 12 days of Christmas or something kind of swap that I did last year and then this one right here I think this one is from Cheryl and then the glittered ones I made but yeah isn't this so cute I love this so this was a cute little gumball machine die and I could have that link down below as well and I'll try to link the pillow box die down below as well because I think this is so cute and a fun way to gift some goodies to your friends and for happy mail so I thought that was super cute so I have this cute little pillow box for her as well then I just have a couple of bag toppers that I made now these I used um, a Lori Whitlock file to cut out the base and like the layering pieces and then I just decorated them so this one has a lot more than the other so you have some flowers uh, you have this cute little thing this is a sticker from Hobby Lobby so is this ticket to fun thing then back here you have this cute little ticket it says like carousel ticket or something and that's just from the carousel collection this cute little um butterfly i want to say that was gifted to me by crystal um who was cruising with crystal but i i can't remember I, like you know i put stuff in my drawer and i just i can't remember everybody um but i think that is from crystal and then I have this one, which is a little less decorated because I couldn't figure it out. But I have this flower from Cheryl. This one I made. Um, some ephemera from the collection. And then the sticker from Hobby Lobby. And the sequin is also from the collection. So I just have these two bag toppers. And I'm actually going to stitch individually around each one of these. And add in like a sequin mix. And it's going to be in like a clear little acetate thing. It's going to be stitched um, around these two. But I wanted to show it to you guys before... I do that so I'm including that as well and then the last thing I have is this super cute envelope that I made and it's like this um holographic pink paper and I had laminated it so it's sturdier and on the front it just says you are what dreams are made of and I'll write Kristen's name over here in like pretty calligraphy or maybe I'll just use thickers I haven't decided yet and then here it says you are awesome and it's kind of like split between the, um, the envelope of like when you open it. And then inside of here I lined it with this pretty paper and then I'm just going to put my little note in here for her and include this like on the front, like on the top of all the goodies and stuff that I created. So that is all that I created for Kristen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, definitely check out what she has created for me as well. Um, there's going to be an unboxing video on my channel and definitely check out her channel as well. She's actually new to YouTube, um, so definitely show your support. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.
Bye.